Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Samlo Talsam uh, three minute talk show or lecture. Basically, the series I'm trying to finish everything in three minutes, and this is Jesifu right here talking. Okay, so yeah. Today, our topic is going to be on the DIY altar. Okay, so let me just touch this. There we go. Okay. So what is the DIY altar? Well, a lot of people, including the Chinese, will often bang into this situation where they just happen to buy a bunch of statues or whatever things that they think should go on the shelf. And then they put it together and claim that's an altar and they start doing offerings prayers, incense, all kinds of rituals to this thing. And they think that it's like, oh, I'm like doing my thing, you know? Like it's supposed to be good, right? Good to me. Well, the thing is, not all the time. <laughs> Most of the case, it's actually quite a dangerous situation. And why? Well, what's actually happening right here? Well, naturally, everyone knows, like from whatever culture is the same, okay? You will know that somehow when you are okay right now, okay? You can invest your time, your heart, and your energy, uh, and that, like the energy that you use for hoping for a better future, right? You invest that into somewhere, such as the altar. And then, when you're facing difficult times, you can go and request help from this altar. What you're doing is like, okay, I'm saving up my money right now, and later on I pull the money out after I kind of make it grow a bit. I pull that out to use it on places or time when I need it the most. Well, the concept alone is fine. Like, if there's no evil thing in this world, like as if we don't have hackers in this world, it's fine. But problem is, this world is not so peaceful as you think. Okay, like if you use computer, you know that there are hackers everywhere. Uh, even on my phone, always have those scam callers and stuff like that. Now, if you don't know how to protect yourself, eventually you will be scammed or conned or targeted by the things, the evil things. So yeah, basically, when you invest all that energy into the altar, okay, the whole altar is full of loot. Yeah. So these evil things will want to claim it as theirs and they will claim to become your god. Like, oh, you like to, you know, pray to this gunyam? I will be your good yum, okay? You want to pray to this whatever general, no problem. I'll be that general, you know, like that. So they claim to be your god and freely take all that energy that you saved up for their own whatever purpose. Like, they just steal that stuff, right? So yeah, they basically just hijack your altar and steal all the loot. Oh my goodness, you know what? The timer didn't work. It failed to load. So I'm sure it's over three minutes. But anyway, so what happened if these evil crap steal the stuff? And like, how do I know that they are there? How do I know it's evil stuff inside? Well, next show, we're going to talk about that. Okay, so stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Remember to comment, subscribe, like, share the video and such. Okay. Here goes the magical remote! Ta-da!